Hey, what's going on guys? How is everybody doing? Today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into Chi Chi. This little zombie lolly might not look like much, but like her zombie nature suggests, she can be one tough cookie to take to the grave. We'll be talking about the stats you should be prioritizing, how to build your artifact sets, what weapons she'll get the most performance from, and what talents you should focus on. We'll be judging these from a free-to-play beginner level all the way up to being an endgame primary hero. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Chi Chi is one of the most flexible heroes of Genshin Impact and can cover pretty much any role you need. If you need a DPS carry, she's got you covered. If your party is dying a little too quickly and you're in need of some strong burst heals, she'll be your little healing maiden. Or maybe you just want another supporting character who can do a bit of both while supplying the cryo element to your team. Chi Chi is fully capable of filling all of these roles. Upon unlocking Ascension 4, Chi Chi's kit really starts to bloom. Her normal in charge attacks will have a 50% chance to slap a fortune preserving talisman on the enemy for 6 seconds. This talisman will provide heals to any character that hits an enemy tagged with this seal, allowing Chi Chi to provide supplemental heals even when she's not active on the battlefield. While there is a lot of upside to using Chi Chi as a healer, a major downside to her is that she doesn't have access to any immediate heals. All of her heals rely on hitting the enemy or passive regeneration. So if you get into a sticky situation, you might not be as safe as you would be with other healers like Barbara or Jean. To get the most out of this guide, we'll be focusing on three different roles when discussing her builds. We'll be covering her as a primary DPS unit, as a mixed DPS unit, and as your primary healer. Chi Chi's long years of roaming Liyue have led her to be a master of the sword. Ancient Sword Art will have Chi Chi perform five rapid strikes. Her third and fourth attacks will deal two strikes apiece but with lower damage output. Her charged attack will perform a flurry of hits dealing maximum damage. And if you jump from above, Chi Chi will perform a plunging attack dealing AoE damage knocking all enemies back. Her skill, Adeptus Art Herald of Frost, will summon a ghostly companion, dealing cryo damage to nearby enemies, making a very effective tool at spreading the cryo element as long as you stay in close range. When striking an enemy while under the effects of Herald of Frost, Chi Chi will regenerate HP for all characters in your party based on Chi Chi's attack stat. She'll also regenerate small increments of HP for the active character at regular intervals and deal cryo damage all over a duration of 15 seconds. Her second Adeptus Art, Preserver of Fortune, is a powerful burst. Chi Chi releases all the Adeptus power in her tiny little body, dealing cryo damage to all enemies in range and places a fortune preserving talisman on them. When an enemy with one of these mystic talismans is damaged, the hero that dealt the damage will regenerate a large portion of HP, also based on Chi Chi's attack. When determining what order you should prioritize Chi Chi's talents, take into consideration what role you'd like Chi Chi to fill for your team. If Chi Chi is going to be your primary DPS, her normal attack should be your priority as this is how the majority of your damage will be dealt. As a mixed unit, splitting the difference between your normal attack and burst will provide the most damage while also providing big heals to your team and not necessarily rely on Chi Chi remaining on the battlefield. Moving the spectrum towards being your primary healer, maxing out your skill and focusing on your burst second will provide you with the best heals that Chi Chi can provide as her skill can heal all allies at once. We can help Chi Chi become an even more effective healer when we take a look at her passive talents. Her first passive, unlocked at Ascension 1, Life Prolonging Methods, will increase the healing bonus of any hero who triggers an elemental reaction while under the effects of her skill, Adeptus Art Herald of Frost. At Ascension 4, Chi Chi unlocks a Glimpse into Arcanum, which provides Chi Chi with a 50% chance to apply a fortune preserving talisman onto an enemy with every attack. However, this can only occur once every 30 seconds. Lastly, one of the most unique passives of all heroes, former life memories will help you in your farming expeditions all over Liyue, revealing Liyue specialties on the minimap with a small hand icon. This can be extremely helpful if you're having trouble discovering ascension materials scouring the mountainous terrains of Liyue. While already an extremely powerful and versatile hero, Chi Chi's potential only increases if you're lucky enough to pull multiple copies of her. 
Constellation 1, Aesthetics of Frost, regenerates 2 energy any time the Herald of Frost hits an enemy that is marked with a Fortune Preserving Talisman, increasing the speed we can build up her burst. Constellation 2, Frozen to the Bone, increases the damage done by Chi Chi's normal and charged attacks by 15% if used on an enemy affected by Cryo. This serves as a straight DPS boost as long as we're constantly keeping Cryo on our enemies. Constellation 3, Ascendant Praise, increases the level of Chi Chi's Burst by 3. Constellation 4, Divine Suppression, decreases the attack of any enemies afflicted with a Fortune Preserving Talisman by 20%, helping to increase the survivability of our team. Constellation 5, Crimson Lotus Bloom, increases the level of Chi Chi's skill by 3. And finally, Constellation 6, Rite of Resurrection, her most powerful constellation, will revive any fallen party members you may have with 50% HP after using her burst. While this effect can only apply once every 15 minutes, reviving lost characters is incredibly powerful once we get into late game content where we can't use food to revive, such as the Spiral Abyss and potential future content. Constellation 1 will provide the most utility across any build you may choose. While moving up to Constellation 2, we see more benefits towards a more DPS skewed build. Unfortunately, to get max potential out of your healing builds, Constellation 6 is the one you want. However, I can't in good faith tell anyone to build towards that as you'll end up spending potentially thousands of dollars in order to get the duplicates you need. When it comes to building Chi Chi's stats, we can build her several different ways depending on the role we want her to play. First up, we'll take a look at stat prioritization as a primary DPS unit. Since we want to get the most damage out of her, it only makes sense that we prioritize her attack first and foremost, as this will increase every aspect of Chi Chi, her normal attack, her skill and burst, as well as scale her heals. This will be the primary stat we look for in all three builds. Second, build her crit set. Both crit rate and crit damage are incredibly important for a primary DPS to get big damage from their normal attacks. Prioritize crit rate first, as without a high crit rate percentage, your crits won't be happening all that often and crit damage would become less relevant. Next, to continually improve her damage, we'll want to focus on physical damage or cryo damage. Physical damage is applied to our damage differently than a flat attack increase and will have less diminishing returns than stacking on additional attack stats. The same can be said for cryo damage, but in respect to her skill and burst as opposed to her normal attack. Chi Chi's skill has quite a long cooldown of 30 seconds. Because of this, we'll want to build some energy recharge to rely on her burst for cryo damage above her skill. Lastly, for a little utility, we wouldn't be too upset with a bit of healing bonus. However, since this particular build isn't focused on healing, this should not be a priority above the other stats listed above. Building Chi Chi as your primary healer drastically changes how you should prioritize the stats on your artifacts. Since we want to focus on her healing, it only makes sense that her healing bonus will jump to the top of our list. Energy Recharge also moves up a spot because we want to ensure that we have access to our burst at all times after its cooldown of 20 seconds. Since our heals don't scale at all off of our crit stats or physical and cryo damage, these drop all the way to the bottom of the list. Don't go out of your way to build these, but they can help supplement your build if they do roll as substats. Lastly, our mix build prioritizes using our burst as much as possible to support our other units providing elemental damage, boosts from our artifact sets such as the Noblest Oblige 4 piece set, and providing additional heals. We'll be focusing on the stats that best help us achieve this instead of maximizing her damage output. We'll be prioritizing Chi Chi's energy recharge to make sure we always have access to it once it comes off of cooldown. Next, we'll focus on the crit package followed by healing bonus, and finally, physical and cryo damage bonuses. Being a master of the ancient sword arts, it's only natural that we pair Chi Chi with the best sword she can handle. For free to play or early game players, Prototype Rancor will be the best sword available for your DPS or mix builds. However, because physical damage doesn't provide any meaningful benefit to our healing builds, the fillet blade should be used instead due to its attack substat. For an alternative, look towards cool steel as your main option as it has an attack substat and increases damage dealt to enemies affected by cryo. Looking forward to your more difficult weapons to acquire, Skyward Blade will be the best sword Chi Chi can wield. An energy recharge substat makes it less relevant to build the stat on your artifacts, making room for other stat selections. 
The most important stat from the passive is the increase in attack speed after using a burst, as a fast attack speed will lead to faster heals from her skill and overall more damage. Aquila Favonia is of course another good option, but is better on your DPS focused builds. As the substat of this weapon is physical bonus damage, it doesn't provide any substantial benefit other than the 20% attack from the passive to our mix or heal based builds. If you haven't been able to acquire either of these 5 star swords, the Flute, Sacrificial Sword, or the Black Sword are your next best options. The Flute and Sacrificial Sword will fit on any style build, while the Black Sword is geared more towards your offensive builds. When it comes to artifacts in the early game, the set bonus is not as important as the stats we prioritize on them. For that, we can look back at the stat priorities we set at the beginning of this video. But if you are lucky enough to have some decent sets, Resolution of Sojourner and Braveheart sets are an easy way to get an 18% attack boost. The Exile and Scholar sets will be great for utility, increasing Chi Chi's energy recharge by 20%. A two-piece set, one set for each stat, is preferred. Moving on to our late game sets, Chi Chi lives up to her name as the Queen of Flexibility. Gladiator's Finale will be one of the best sets we can use for our offensive builds, providing an 18% boost to our attack as a 2-piece set and a 35% increase to our normal attacks under a 4-piece set will give us the biggest boost to DPS. Splitting the Gladiator's Finale set and adding a 2-piece Bloodstained Chivalry set will provide a slight dip in DPS but will be easier to acquire. For a more supporting build, a full 4-piece set of Noblesse Oblige will help spread an attack boost to your full party. Finally, for our healing build, a full set of Maiden Beloved will provide the max healing possible. Because a large portion of Chi Chi's healing coming from her burst relies on other heroes damaging enemies, the healing boost wouldn't get any benefit from an attack set. For that reason, we'll prioritize the incoming healing bonus from the 4-piece set. Chi Chi may have already died once, but no matter how you build her, she's going to show you that she has no intentions to die again. Hopefully you guys have found this guide useful and it will help you in building your own Chi Chi. If you liked what you saw and want to see more content from me, head over to my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash jazzy, or you can support me right here on YouTube by clicking subscribe and hitting the notification bell, that way you never miss a video. But guys, that's all I have for today, I hope that you did enjoy. I'll see all you guys in the next video. Peace.